guys and welcome to another short tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about something that a lot of you might not know about, but when you do, it's probably going to change the way you do a lot of things, okay? You can see on the screen now that I'm going to be talking about Stackbit, okay? It just makes what Netlify made easy and it just puts a little wrapper around the entire process so you don't have to do anything. It's incredible how amazing this app really is. Now what Stackbit does is it allows you to make a Jamstack site in literally seconds. I think the actual build time is probably less than 30 seconds, okay? Now for those of you that don't know what Jamstack is, Jamstack stands for JavaScript APIs and Markup. And the term was coined by Matthias Billman to describe a modern web development architecture based on client-side JavaScript, reusable APIs and pre-built markup. And the static nature of a Jamstack app makes scaling easy and causes little to no DevOps overhead. Now as an ops guy myself, who has a pretty good grasp on development, this makes my entire life and job so much easier having these kind of tools and it's just sensational. Now, Stackbit's main page essentially has a lot of the tools that they're developing on it and you'll, you'll see that every single one of these says request early access. And when these tools come out, this is going to be a game changer. But essentially, Stackbit doesn't currently have any of these tools right now. The only one that it actually has is the real-time site status. And I'll show you that now. What we're going to go through now is we'll just build a website. It's that simple. We'll build a website and you can see how incredible Stackbit is. Now, what you're going to need for this, bearing in mind I have all these, so it makes the process a lot easier for me. But to do exactly what I'm going to do, what you're going to need is a GitHub account a Netlify account, and a Forestry account. Now, if you don't, I'll link all of these below. If you don't have access to them, essentially Stackbit is what we're going to be using to build everything. Netlify is what we're going to host and build with. GitHub's where all our code is going to be stored. And Forestry is a CMS. It's one of the one of the better ones, in, in my personal opinion. I, I like it much better than the rest. Um, but there's plenty of options out there, and you'll, you'll see as you go through it. So first step then, we'll sign in. It immediately signed me in, but it can give you the option to sign in with GitHub or Netlify. I chose GitHub. From here, we'll just go a new project. And it has a small selection of themes. I won't go in it in this video, but you can use your own theme. And you can simply put in the GitHub repository link right there. It does need to have a stack bit YAML file in the repository but I'll go through that in a separate video. So for now, we'll just stick with the basic themes that they give you. So we'll just keep it simple. We'll go for the medium inspired blogging theme. You can go for a live preview if you want to, but I know what it looks like, so I'm happy with this one. Next, we'll continue to the site generator. I'm gonna use Gatsby just because I, I know how it works and I really like it, to be honest. Next to the CMS, like I said, I like forestry, so I'm gonna stick with forestry. Connect accounts. This is where you would connect your accounts, but obviously I have mine connected to my account already. Let's choose a name for the website. Let's name it, if I can type, Stackbit YouTube Test. So you can see in Forestry, it's gonna create me a, a site named Stackbit YouTube Test, and it will also create a public repo in my GitHub named Stackbit YouTube Test. And now I'll just create a project. And apart from waiting, to it, waiting for it to build now, that's it. You can click on view logs if you want to view it in Netlify. It'll take you straight to your Netlify page, which you can click on here and get the actual logs live as they appear. Okay, and there we go, the site's all built. So now we can immediately jump into forestry, start editing the site, but you know, if you want to do a separate video on forestry at some point, we can do that. All we're focusing on this video is how fast and efficiently you can get a project up and running. So we can go straight to the site. You'll notice what's great about Stackbit is that it includes a little widget in the top right hand corner. This widget is fantastic because every single time you make a change, bearing in mind, you can make this change in the CMS. You can make this change in the CLI and push to Git. You can make this change on GitHub and Netlify is watching it. As soon as Netlify detects a change, 
Stackfit will start rebuilding the site. It's that easy. And we'll demonstrate that in a second by making a small change. Okay, the site's rebuilt. All we've got to do is click refresh. And it'll refresh the page. Now you can see the widget is giving us three options. Edit in forestry, go to the Netlify project, or go to the GitHub repo. So let's open all of these in different tabs. Here's the repo that's built for us. Here's a project on Netlify. And once I log in with GitHub to forestry, then we can make a small change. Save that. On forestry, you can see this small little disc here. Once that's finished spinning around and it goes green, then your site's all saved and good to go. Awesome. If I switch back now to here, you can see it's already detected the change. It's already rebuilding. Okay, let's give it a refresh. And there you go. It's really is as simple as that, guys. I, I feel like... This has been around for a while, the Jamstack and Netlify and that, they've all been around for a while now. However, I really don't feel like people know enough about them as they should, or not enough people even know about them. It's 2020 now, and I feel like as a dev guy or an ops guy, you've really got no excuse. If you have a project or an idea in your mind, you can use these tools to make it a reality. I really think it's a fantastic tool. Make sure you visit stackbit.com or you can go straight to app.stackbit.com. I'll link it all below. Um, but if you want to see more videos like this, then give the video a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks, guys. Yeah.